I, I want everybody to understand how those of us who live in the West are so grateful to Vicki Christensen for decades of extraordinary public service. You have been there for our communities again and again. Godspeed for a much earned retirement. Now, I want to tell you about the last couple of weeks because I've been all over Oregon talking to your folks on the ground. And it is hard to really convey the urgency of what they're telling us here on this um, committee. And I've been through a number of fire seasons. When I was in Medford, hottest day in history, and the weather service calls and says it's the highest in a warning level they can give. And this committee, as you know, I was chair, we always have said we're gonna get you the technologies. We're gonna get you tankers and drones. And as you know, Senator Crapo and I wrote the fire borrowing laws. We could focus on prevention. We've always said we'll be there with you on your needs on the ground. And that continues. Now, Given the seriousness of what we're faced with this year, I want to kind of walk you through what I think we're dealing with and get your plan for it. What you all have historically done is always tried to share resources. So when one area is hit hard, folks from another area, I see my friend from you know, Nevada here, so you know, our area is hit, they help, vice versa. This year in the West, we could be looking at the prospect of multiple fires, big ones, at the same time. So tell us first, what's your plan for making sure that we can share the resources, get more, and we're prepared to do it. I think you'll recall, you know, one year I was a junior member of this committee, Senator Bingaman, I believe, sat where Chairman Manchin is, and I basically talked everybody into ordering some tankers on the floor. In other words, we asked consent and everybody said we need them. So what's the plan for making sure we can keep people safe when there are fires in multiple communities at the same time in the West? Thank you very much for your wishes and your um call to action and the urgency, Senator. I absolutely agree with you. I'm, I'm worried about our employees, our contractors, the people that work these lands and work these fires. I'm very concerned about the communities and the landscapes. And you're right, we call them preparedness levels, one through five, and the highest being five. We are seeing more and more days in preparedness level four and five. And that means there's multiple geographical areas with high amounts of fire, and quite frankly, for longer durations. And uh, our ability to have these surge capacities and move our resources around, we have, um, we have a competition for resources. In, in the last uh, uh, three to four years in particular, we have uh, had m more than several circumstances where we call them unable to fill <laughs> resources. So we, uh, we need a 21st century uh, workforce and equipment and technology. Thanks to the work with this committee, we're making some progress. We have a modernized air tanker fleet. We are making some steps forward with our limited capacity of resources with advancing technology. We need more of a year-around workforce uh, but I will say it real, we, our system is at a breaking point. We aren't changing as rapidly as we can. Now, it's, what very, it's very helpful. I just have one other question that I know is important to you as well. Could you get to us through uh, Chairman Manchin and the ranking member a written statement on what the plans are if we're short of resources in the West? Could you get that to me and my colleagues, the chair and the ranking member within a week? We'd be happy to do right. that, Senator. My last question is, um, I gather you all have been doing some good work to kind of crunch some numbers with respect to 
uh, hazardous fuels and what it would take to actually get ahead of hazardous fuels um, loading. And you've been looking at how much per acre it might cost. And we've been doing the math. And I gather it might be 1,000 per acre for 20 million acres. And that you all are estimating to get in front of the hazardous fuels challenge and the buildup is enormous. There are magnets for fire. It might cost $20 billion. Is that your current figure based on your estimates, Chief? Over the next 10 years, $20 billion for this paradigm shift is accurate, Senator. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 